Senator, ladies and gentlemen, for evil to prevail, all it needs is for good women and good men to do nothing. Now, the British delegation joins with you today at this inspirational rally to make sure that something happens. So, But ladies and gentlemen, this year is different from past years in that the Iranian regime, particularly its leader Khomeini, has been severely weakened, as you've heard from many of the previous speakers. Mullahs are in charge. This is all over the four minutes. Mullahs are internally and externally very isolated. In Iran, society is in an explosive state. People are crying out in the streets for change. The Iranian re resistance is expanding its activities inside the country. Internationally, it has emerged as the only democratic alternative to the theocratic regime. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we do not want to talk about condemnation of the Mullah's crimes. We want to talk about regime change, which is at long last. which is at long last within our grasp. We want to talk about a future Iran with Marion Rajavi's 10-point plan. The plan which gives freedom and human rights to all the people of Iran. Ladies and gentlemen, I must, however, highlight the important plight of Ashrafi's properties which have been obtained through their own resources and hard work. Ladies and gentlemen, they belong to them. Yet Iraq refused to let them possess their properties. Calls for compensation and conciliation are needed. And it is the obligation, yes, it is the obligation of the international community, the United Nations and the United States government to change Iraq's mind. We will certainly do our best in the United Kingdom Parliament towards achieving that end. So, let us hope that in the future, freedom and justice will be secured for the people of Iran and their vanguards, the PMOI members. Madam Rajavi, you have our full support. And this is our message to the Mullahs. Free Iran! Colleagues, what is our message? Free. What is our message? Free. What are we going to do? Free. So, ladies and gentlemen, regime change. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce my colleague and friend, the Right Honourable Theresa Villiers.